hear you just fine. Nice jersey, man. Well, you know, Diego, I'll put this on for you because my Detroit Lions, they lost. So um, it's a little itchy. I don't like it. It's a little itchy here. But um, yeah, but we can't can't let you go with uh, out, uh, I guess, touching on, you know, you mentioned it earlier, fantasy football. Um, you know, we did we did play each other um, this weekend. And, uh, you know, it's a semifinal matchup. Too bad it wasn't the final. That's the only thing that could have made it better. Do y'all still give the uh, trophy away at the Super Bowl? How, how, how do you do it now? Now, you will receive the trophy, of course. I guess right. you're already claiming it ahead of time. My fancy, I'm in position to have two. It's like two I'm a double cup. I'm a double cup fantasy football. Who does that? Who is it two separately? This is just, un this is unprecedented. See, that's, that's why not, you're not going to win anything. I'm not here to talk you about think that. you're going to win two, but you're actually going to win zero. <laughs> well, we, yeah, able to, uh, you know, have that. And, yeah, we just put our jewelry on here. Just got to do that. Get the, the next strong. And uh, looks good. Looks yeah. good. Yeah. Looks real good. We're all looking good. So No, not, not we all. Yeah, that's right. Us, us that's too. Right. Us, us yeah, too. Us, oh, man, man. Us too. Yeah. Us too. Okay, Panthers. What is that? It hurts me right now to uh, pick the Detroit Lions over Chicago. But since um, I got to keep this chain, I'm picking Detroit. <laughs> okay, so the Panthers are going to win this game. Sam Darnold, he's been amazing. <laughs> He's brought this team that they were done for. They were done. They could have easily just went for the draft and everything. And then he helped. He brought them back up. And now they actually have a shot at, at going to the playoffs. And you know what? I'm, I'm having an early playoff prediction. We're going to beat the Cowboys in the playoffs. At home in Charlotte in Carolina. The Cowboys are going to go home because of the unstoppable Panthers and our run game. When I, think, is I think Diego needs some sleep. <laughs> this is former Chicago Bear Desmond Clark. And y'all hear me on many podcasts, but when y'all hear me on Pick'em Pros, y'all know it's all about family. This ain't just business. Coming back tonight. We're coming back tonight. We're going to tie it up 2-2, go back to Golden State, then 3-2, three, three, then we're going to control the series. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. You know who it is. I am Derek Thompson. And I'm Diego Thompson. And who are we? We're the Pick'em Pros. We are the Pick'em Pros coming back at you in the house with our new show, Who You Got? Father and Son Dynamic Duo. Wow, I can't believe it is just two weeks left in the regular season. We are going into week 17. We've been going at it all season long uh, where we're picking all the games. Uh, and since week eight, uh, our special guest, Desmond Clark, has been joining us, a.k.a. Des, former tight end of Chicago Bears. He's been joining us. He will be on with us a little later. We also have Mr. Michael Sims joining us again this week. He was on with us last week to talk about the Lions. We were talking about if they're for real or not. They hit a big snag. we got to talk about that. Uh, Diego's Carolina Panthers, uh, he has been on and off all season long, did not pick them this last week. Of course, they won. We got to talk about that. Yes. Um, man, Michigan, we we're talking about college football. Michigan's going into the um, semifinals this weekend. We got to talk about that with Michael Sims. Uh, fantasy football, we just have a ton of topics to talk about. But anyway, man, how, how was your Christmas? It was good. Good Christmas. Yeah, how was your Christmas? My Christmas was good. Christmas was good. Good. It was just, you know, the biggest gift of all was to be able to spend time with family. So mm -hmm. it was great being with uh, you, uh, my wife, your mom. Uh, it was just great, uh, you know, for that. Uh, just being together was uh, really nice. And then, you know, I also also won my semifinal matchup in fantasy football against Michael Sims, who's joining us in a minute. So that was another nice uh, Christmas present. So I'm doing great. Uh, you know what? Nobody cares. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think everybody yeah. cares. <laughs> And we're going to talk, talk about that. All about your fantasy football league matchup that I'm not even in. So. You know, it, it just it just validates it validates all the the um you know rankings that we made in the in the off season. It validates all that. You know what I mean? Because now you know I can I can speak with authority. You know what I mean? When I speak about some of these topics, you know, coming from a a, a point of uh, being you know a champion. It allows you to be able to speak on that. So, yeah, yeah, man, we're gonna definitely get into that. But we can't wait to bring Mr. Michael Sims in uh, to you uh, again. He was with us last week. We talked about the Lions. We're gonna talk about Michigan. We know he's in the in the lobby, so we're gonna bring him in in just a second. But before we get to our first special guest, Diego, man, let's talk about uh, how we did last week and talk about our causes uh, that we picked for. So, not only are we picking. But we're also, you know, sending money to great causes on behalf of our picks and just having fun. So, Diego, why don't you tell everybody what cause you are playing for, sir? Yeah, well, I am playing for the Eat, Learn, Play Foundation in Oakland by Steph and Aisha Curry. All right. That is great. That's who you are playing for. I am playing for the Jalen Rose Leadership Academy out of Detroit. So that's who I am playing for. So uh, I'm, I'm up eight games with two weeks left. Um, Diego, you still seem to have a little hope, but uh, I think the lion's share of the funds, the 2,500 is going to go to my cause and the 500 is going to go to your cause. Do you agree? Or are you conceding or do you still, still have hope? You know, I'm not worried about that. I'm just worried about, you know, Pam's I'm just worried about my Panthers right now okay. yeah, about making the playoffs. Okay. So it sounds like you're totally switching the, the topic. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. I'm just, I'm, I'm just worried about, I, I'm worried about the playoffs. Okay, great, great journey. Because my team actually shot at me. You, you are on your way. Yeah. You're on your way. You're being very, very sharp. All right. All right. Well, we're not going to keep Mr. Mike waiting too much longer. We do want to, before we bring him in, let's just touch very quickly on last week, my friend. Um, again, I, let's pull up my slide. Those of you that are watching us on YouTube, uh, we have, see, I went 10 and 6 this past week. And, you know, I actually gave a game. I was playing with house money. And the Colts, Chargers, you know, I said, ah, you know what's Monday night football? Maybe the Colts will win. Maybe I can grab a couple of extra games. I missed on that, but it really didn't matter. I uh, how the Colts looked on, looked on Monday night football the rest of the year? <laughs> Sorry, right. I, I, I was just playing. You know, sometimes you got to gamble a little bit, just kind of playing with house money. So um, went 10 and 6 this past week. I'm 147 and 91 overall. Uh, the Steelers was my signature win. Uh, got um, and woo, I was sweating on that. I didn't think I was gonna pull that one off, but that was a signature win for the week. Lucky. Uh, you, my friend Diego, you went nine and seven. Mm -hmm. You got above five hundred. Um, sheesh, almost have a hundred losses. Um, <sighs> didn't think about this. Yeah, one. yeah, but I also have almost one hundred and forty wins. So <laughs> when you really even things out, it's not that bad. Been a lot of games this year. <laughs> it's been a lot of games. A lot of games. games. Nah, you know I'm messing with you. All right. All right. Oh, oh. All right. There we go. All right, man. Well, hey, let me, let's see. Let's me uh, adjust the slides here. And uh, wow. Let's go ahead and get into our guest game. We just wanted to recap week 15. So uh, we're we got two weeks left. I'm up eight games. So we're going to bring Desmond on a little later where we'll make our official week 17 picks, see where we shake out, see who will have the chain next week. But before we do that, let's bring in our main man, Mr. Michael Sims, our Detroit expert is in the house, is in the building. What's going on, sir? Oh, uh, not too much. Can you guys hear me? Yes, yes, we hear you just fine. Nice jersey, man. Well, you know, Diego, I'll put this on for you because my Detroit Lions, they lost. So um, it's a little itchy. I don't like it. It's a little itchy here. But I went on and put it on for you because we lost fair and square. So I said, you know what, let me let me put this on as an ode to uh, Diego because uh, my Lions came up in there and they stuck it up. Uh, it was a little bit too cold for them. Uh, everybody Ooh. forgets sometimes <laughs> that uh, in Detroit they play indoors. So right. as cold as it gets in Detroit, they indoors. So they weren't used to the cold when they came down <laughs> in wow. the uh, uh, Panther Stadium there. It was a little rough. Yeah, mm. yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, that was a shocker. I mean, we all picked, all picked um, Detroit. Although you know, big you know Panther fans and whatnot were coming at you from North Carolina. All three of us, uh, and uh, yeah, that was a shock. I know my cousin uh, who's from Detroit, Vaughn, actually went to the same high school as you, Mike. Um, he went um, to to the game, and uh, you know, I wow. know was probably very confident. That you know, it was go Lions on this big streak. And I know you know, he was all hype to go down there and see him. And uh, man, the, they just the Panthers took it to him, yeah. It was mm. kind of bad too because that's the kind of game, those are the ones that you got to win. You're supposed yeah. to win, you're on that roll, you know, not taking anything away from the Panthers because man, that first half they just pounded it as far as uh running the ball. I mean. I can't nice. even remember they said the line, they gave the stat. I apologize. I don't remember, but they the last time they had two running backs have over hundred yards in the first half. I mean, that was that was that was crazy. They made adjustments in the second half, but again, by that yeah. time, it was just it was yeah. just way too late. By that time, the, the house was on fire. By by that time. It was That's on fire, <laughs> put the baby to bed, put a put your thumb in the mouth, it's time to go to sleep. Yeah, 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 man, yeah. But uh, but hey, I think the Lions, they, you know, they play, uh, let's see, who they play? They play the Bears? This yeah, the Bears. Week? Yeah, they play the Bears. They're at home against the Bears this week. I'm sure they'll be favored. If they win out, I um, think they can still get in, may need a little bit of help. But, uh, you know, just obviously that Panthers game, that would have really sealed, you know, if they could have won that and won out, they definitely would have gotten in. But now they probably need a little help. They do because that Green Bay win really hurt. Uh, that their loss and the Green Bay win that that yeah. that that hurt. Um, again, I had them. You know, I predicted them as far as going on in for a wild card at the beginning of the season. That's um, right. You so uh, we're going to need to get. They're going to have to definitely win out and then play the cards and see what happens. I still think there's some improvement. You know, you see it coming up for next year and and all yeah. that. But you know, at the end of the day, you got to put those games away. Um, yeah. But hey, I'm on a streak now. I, I, I don't, I don't want to keep it going for Michigan, but I lost in, in uh, fantasy also. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we, we are going to get to that uh, topic here. We're not going to let you go without the fantasy I football because I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going. I know how much you love fantasy. We're not going to let you go without talking fantasy football. But, um, man, before we get to that, I, I do want to touch on Michigan, and I want to touch on the exact jersey that you have on. What what jersey is that? This jersey is the Carolina Panthers jersey. Now, this is – I was going to have the Detroit Lions jersey on today. That was the game plan. But right. I had to put on Steve Smith's. That's his Steve old, Smith. His, okay. his, 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 his jersey there uh, just for just for yeah, homage. Yeah. He's still keeping the Michigan hat on for this weekend, yes. you know. Um, but uh, yeah, 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 I just did yeah. this up for Diego Steve Smith. Oh, that's oh man, that's a sweet one. That's the throwback, man. Now, I know you, man, you, you know, you, uh, you know, rub shoulders with all the guys. What is that an autograph jersey, or you know, because I wouldn't be surprised with you. <laughs> it is not. I'm trying to think here. Um, I, I have not met Steve Smith, okay. I have not met him. I would love to. The guy's a you know, definitely go get her. And he's a legendary, um, uh, you know, Panther. Uh, but I have not met him. I don't, I don't have a Steve Smith story. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes, yes. And for those of you that didn't see us last week, Michael Sims has an amazing um, Barry Sanders story. So check out the episode from last week. You can hear uh, his Barry Sanders story about why Barry Sanders retired. So uh, awesome, awesome story. So you have to go and check out that episode for that. But so on to more fun, you know, great topics, man. Your Wolverines are playing uh, New Year's Eve. Uh, man, going against uh, TCU. Uh, so happy it's not Ohio State. So happy they did not do that in the semifinals. So, hey, if, if you know, if that happens in the finals, great, whatever. But I'm um, happy they made the matchup TCU. How how you feeling about the matchup this weekend? I feel good about well, – here, here we go again, right? I felt good about the Lions matchup, right? I feel good about the matchup yeah. uh, actually only because 
uh, Michigan has a way better defense. TCU is going to put up some points. Yeah. Uh, but Michigan has a better defense than what TCU has faced. Uh, they do have some difficulties as far as with Blake being out. Um, what a lot of people don't realize is that that's 18 touchdowns. You know, he was he was Heisman Trophy bound. That's 18 touchdowns, yeah, right. that he, he provided. Edwards has been doing an outstanding job, and Bell is the number one receiver. I think he has close to around like 800 yards, but he still only has three, three receiving touchdowns. Um, Edwards is a good receiver, though, too, uh, out of the backfield. He, he's done extremely well. I yeah. got to give the coaching staff, and this is going to, you know, because I've never been a big Harbaugh fan. But that Ohio State-Michigan game was spectacular mm -hmm. because Michigan all season has been a running team. Yeah. They have been a running team. And yeah. if you saw that game, they mm -hmm. came out of their back pocket with a whole new game plan and they were throwing the ball. So yeah. I feel real comfortable that they'll make, you know, football is about adjustments, adjustments. Yeah. Um, just to touch upon it real quick, you know, people don't understand that one of the biggest things that make made New England so, and Brady talks about it, made them so good is their halftime adjustments. Yes. You know, so anytime I see a coach, like I said, even though I'm not a Harbaugh fan, um, yeah. I got to get them credit. They made a huge, huge adjustment. And they were throwing the ball because the safeties were up. The mm -hmm. safeties were up. People were yelling, well, where the safety? They had them up because they were playing them for the run. You know, That's right. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I feel I feel good about it. I feel good about it. Yeah, good, good. Now, Diego, I know you you hadn't seen much, you know, Michigan football. I really didn't get a chance to watch a lot of college football earlier this year, but uh, we were in Dallas uh, for Thanksgiving, and we were able to see that Michigan Ohio State game. We were able to really watch the whole game, and that was an amazing game. Uh, so I know that was a treat for you. But Diego, who who do you think? Um, well, how do you think the matchups are going to fare out this weekend and then throughout the rest of the college football playoffs? Yeah, I like Michigan uh, playing TCU. Uh, they already lo they've lost once this year. Uh, Michigan hasn't lost to anybody, so mm -hmm. I think that's a pretty good matchup for them. Uh, TCU hasn't really. I, I don't think they've been to the college football playoff before, so Michigan probably has more experience. Mm -hmm. And then um, Georgia going against Ohio State. Ohio State got blown out by, by Michigan, so that can be that can be done. And then Georgia is just one of the, the probably the best team in the country by far. So, yeah. like that matchup for them as well. Yeah, yeah. I just want to set this on the table. Just scooting it over, setting it on the table. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think. Don't be shocked if Ohio State beats Georgia. Just setting it on the table. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that would be would be something. And then, wow, man! If, have big days. If you have Michigan, <laughs> Ohio. State. Prove, you know, when you got that chip on your shoulder and you want to prove something because of the blow that happened in Michigan, mm -hmm. don't be mm -hmm. don't be shocked. That's right. That's right. And that would be amazing if you have Michigan, Ohio State. I mean, this you know one of the biggest <laughs> rivalries ever. I mean, that's Duke, Carolina in basketball. I mean, that's. You know, this Michigan-Ohio State, you know, rivalry is arguably the biggest rivalry in sports you, you can make the argument for. And, you know, but it's always to go to the Rose Bowl or to win the Big Ten or something like that. To actually have that matchup for the national championship mm. would just be absolutely amazing. So, <laughs> Come on, Derek, you know, both the state of Michigan and the state of Ohio will be shut down that day. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, there, there's no, no, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. And that's just so funny how Charles Woodson is actually from Ohio. <laughs> yeah, right. Correct. correct. <laughs> but he oh, believes so Michigan. Funny. Oh, he does. Oh, there is no doubt about it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, no, we will be looking forward to that. Uh, it's going to be just a phenomenal weekend of sports. So, you know, we've got Thursday night football. You know, the NBA is in, in effect right now, so that's good. So there's something every single day at least, and then college basketball. But, uh, you know, Cowboys, Titans, Thursday night. We've got the amazing college football on Saturday, and then Sunday just meaningful games all day with the NFL. And then Monday night, got Buffalo at Cincinnati. So, oh, oh man, it's just, a, you know, smorgasbord of, 
of sports here coming up. So it's a, it's a great time. It's a great time. But um, yeah, but we can't can't let you go with uh, our uh, guest touching <laughs> on. You know, you mentioned it earlier, fantasy football. Um, you know, we did we did play each other um, this weekend, and uh, you know, it's a semifinal matchup. Too bad it wasn't the final. That's the only thing that could have made it better. Uh, but semifinals, you know, you, you know, uh, we've been running things in our league. I think you only lost maybe <laughs> once or twice all season long. Twice. Uh, came in, uh, you know, had the bye. Um, I almost lost my quarterfinal matchup. I somehow miraculously got out of that just to have the pleasure of going, being able to play against you. And, um, you know, we just scrapped enough points together to, you know, squeak that out and, uh, you know, I'm a going to the final. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, of all times, your quarterback gets almost 70 points. That was insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I have uh, have Joe Burrow, and, uh, you know, I was high on him. You know, I, I had him in, in my offseason rankings. I had Burrow rated number one. I uh, started off slow, had the, you know, surgery – and whatnot, and the offensive line still wasn't right. So that was looking pretty shaky. Um, and even though my team roster-wise has been pretty stacked, and points-wise, I've been right there. I had probably, probably way more losses than I probably should have. But everything was coming around at the right time. Uh, and then D-Hop was sitting on my bench for six weeks, although he didn't do anything this week. So luckily, that didn't hurt me. But uh, I maybe – Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking at the whole Brady uh, Evans, you yeah. know, if they could have got yeah. hot, that yeah. right there. And, and let yeah. me say this. I got to say this. Okay. So, you know, <laughs> fantasy football, it is what it is. And, you know, you lose, you win, you lose. The only thing I can't not stand is if I had the winning points on my bench and I yes. actually had the winning points on my bench. Did you? I did. What? Did you see uh high B? Uh, the uh, tight end from uh, the Chargers oh. had 30 points. Right. Yes. And, yes. Right. And I, my tight end only had one point that I had in. And That's then a- if you look at Peoples, he had one point, and my re- other receiver, Curtis Samuel, had 15 points. Oh, yeah. yeah. If you add that all up, yeah. It, it, I, yeah. I, I would have got you, I think, by one or two points. Oh man, whoo man, yeah, that would have been something. Yeah, because I still would have felt confident because I thought D Hop would put up more than what he ended up putting up. Uh, and yeah, D Hop only ended up scoring maybe two, three points. I mean, he just didn't get. Yeah, he got a bunch of targets, but all the balls were just not catchable. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. I was hoping going into that that you know I had one of those. It would be one of those games. I said that's the only way. You know, yep, I said, it. you know, Brady is just going to have to. And he's actually been doing around because they've been behind, you know, uh, yeah. uh, uh, you know, 50 or uh, something points. And I was hoping that those touchdowns would all be the Evans, but right. they could right. not get in that end zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was one of those, one of those deals, man. Well, well I beat you twice during the season and I knew it was going to be hard. I told my son it's going to yep. be hard to beat you three times in a row. Yep, yep. <laughs> Total. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then it looks like he he didn't make his um he didn't. He he didn't. Think, so yeah. so yeah, yeah, the yeah, the Sims, the Sims clan, we had a chance to both of us go against each other or be knocked out. So we decided to just uh-huh. go on and get knocked out. <laughs> well, that's all right, man. Hey, I'm a, I'm gonna do my best to get it and bring it home. You know, for us, man, because I know I, I know you guys will be pulling for me. So I'm just going to take all that and I'm just oh, going to yeah. try to do it for y'all, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to be looking at it going, go, Derek. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Don't hold your breath. I hate losing. <laughs> No oh, man, but no, lot, lots of fun. Hey, do y'all still give the uh, trophy away? At the Super Bowl, how 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 do you do it now? Is it is is it's been a few Well, you years. know, COVID because I kind of messed things up. Now you will receive the trophy, of course. I guess right. you're already claiming it ahead of time, so that's going to be interesting. You didn't already right. claimed it or whatever. Jinx so, so 
Um, yeah, yeah. I think you are going against AJ Thompson. That's who you're going okay. against. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, All right. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, I still will peek and take a look and see, because uh, I don't think because you've won it before. I don't think he's ever won it, so okay. I know he's hyped up. So Oof. try to get his first win in. I I still cannot get that first win in. So yeah, yeah. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> <laughs> it's tough. Oh man, yeah, yeah. It's exciting. It's uh, I hope I hope to get it, but you know, play. There is a good thing about this though. It's I I am in good company with Barry Sanders. We just cannot win uh, uh championships. <laughs> Barry Sanders, that's right. <laughs> yep, one of the greats. Well, no, nah, no, nah, you had. I mean, you had a heck of a draft. Uh, a great, great roster. You put up some monster points and. With the playoffs, you know, that's the only thing about it, man. One bad week. That's the one cool thing about the other league, the league Diego and I are in, is it's just straight week one through 18. Um, It's still, you know, your record, but, right. you know, at least, at least you can get bounced out from one, you know, bad week. So, uh, right. yeah, which, which I have a chance to win that one as well. That's a whole other topic we won't have to talk Ooh, about. Chance. No, no. We'll we'll see we'll see yeah yeah I I I, 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 I have not not in fourth I'm I'm in second oh I have, so I, I have to win out and I need a little bit of help but that's a big it's, if man it's, it's still a chance still a chance I could be holding two trophies very big I could be done. so we'll see what happens <laughs> oh man well hey now Mike man thanks for joining us we'll definitely. Have you back on uh, soon? You know, we get into March Madness. You know, we're going to dive into that. Uh, and then we got, you know, NFL playoffs here. So a lot of great sports coming up. Really appreciate you guys having me on. Enjoy talking sports with you guys. My only my only ask or request is that if, if, if we win it all, you make sure you give us a shout out, baby. Yes. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You know what? Okay. So I got you. Um, we will definitely give you a shout out. OK, and then if you guys win. We'll, we'll, we'll let you determine when you want to come on. If you right. want to wait until this, if you win the whole championship, if you want to come on early, you might not want to, you know, however you want to play it. You just let us know. If y'all win. You have full rights to come on and and and, and, and brag about any Michigan victory. So just let well, us know. I'm at least let it have enough time. So Diego have his Michigan jersey. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. You got to rep. All yes. right, cool. Well, hey, man, enjoy the rest of your holidays. Um, really, really appreciate you, and uh, good luck to your to your Wolverines. Go blue. Mm -hmm. Same to you guys. You guys see you guys in 2023. Thanks, guys. You bet. Yes. All right. So that was the one and only Michael Sims. We appreciate having him. All right. Well, now, hey, man, it's time to get into these Week 17 picks. Can't believe it's just two left. Let's bring on the third D of 3D here. Let's bring on Mr. Desmond Clark. Here he is. Yes, What's sir. up, sir? How you guys doing, man? Man, we're doing great. Everything is lovely, lovely. We're just, uh, you know, getting these wins, wearing this jewelry, and uh, winning fantasy. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm not a part of that fantasy. I just want to make that disclaimer again this week to let everybody know that I'm not a part of that fantasy. I'm a winner. All I do is win, win, win. No matter what, um, I guess you can call it a win from last week, even though we tied. Yeah. I didn't lose. I didn't um, lose. But everybody, everybody can't say that, right, no. Diego? No. Well, no, I wouldn't count it as a win because since you two tied with the same record, I feel like that should be scratched off the history books. But we didn't lose. Yeah. Hold on. But Yo, I didn't win. lose either what? because you guys tied. So. But but you but you didn't you didn't have as many wins as we did, right? Yeah. 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 So, so that means that you lost. That's I don't cool. know. I don't know my math skills anymore. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> See, if 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 we all would have tied, you know, you could have you would have ran because you know De Des had a couple of those. Honestly. Yeah. You know, he's been with us since week yeah. eight. You know, he's had a couple of those where he's held on to the chain because we weren't able to quite overtake him. Yeah, but to, to, uh, to beat a man, you got to beat the man. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and you got you got beat up twice. <laughs> <laughs> so we, yeah, able to, uh, you know, have that. And, yeah, we just put our jewelry on here. Just got to do that. Get the, the neck strong. And uh, looks good. Looks yeah. good. 
Yeah. Looks real good. We're all looking good. So no, not not we all. Yeah, that's right. That's, but that's, that's, two. Right. that's yeah. two. Oh man, man. That's two. Uh, that's two. Okay, Panthers. What is that? Oh, yeah. I hear a lot of Panthers. Fans. We're definitely gonna have to get into that. Oh yeah. Um, you know, because you you've been oh my goodness. Um, you know, I've heard. Okay, oh, we've got Baker. We're going to the playoffs. I've heard. I just don't have it in me to pick these guys anymore. If they win, they win. I've heard. Oh, they're back. <laughs> I hope. I've heard. I'm picking the Lions over the path. I've heard everything. So I can't wait to hear what you're going to tell us this week. I know it's going to be entertaining. So we can't wait to hear that from you, sir. So we're going to get into that pretty soon. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get into the picks and then we'll get to the Panthers here uh, in just a few picks here. But let's start off. So we agree on 10. We have 16 games this week. We agree on 10. Uh, you pretty much take those to your bank. And then, uh, oh boy, we've got four that Dez is on the island for this week. So, oh man, that's going to be a lot of fun. I know he likes that. He loves yes, being on the absolutely. island. Absolutely. And, uh, so, four island games for Dez. I'm on the island for one, and Diego's on the island for one. That's the rundown. But let's get into our first of 10 that we agree on. We have the Thursday night matchup. The Dallas Cowboys uh, travel to Tennessee uh, to play the Titans, uh, who are totally falling apart. Uh, without Tannehill. What's going on, Diego? Who do we have in this one, man? Yes, well, we do have the Cowboys winning this game. They did beat the Eagles last week without Jalen Hurts, but still but still they're a good team even without him. And okay. then the Titans, they are self-destructing. Um, their, their quarterback's injured. They just lost to the Texans. The Jaguars just got the new division lead, so I feel like the Cowboys will just um, ru ruin the Titans' hopes even more and beat them. On Thursday night. Yeah, man, the Titans, they they started out kind of slow. Then they caught fire, and they've been extinguished. Um, that's that's been their season. I think at this point, um, they, they don't have they don't have a spark to catch fire for these last two games. And they plan against one of the top teams in the entire NFL. And Dallas is playing really good football right now. Um, so I, I I don't I don't see Tennessee putting up too much of a fight against Dallas. Um, I see Dallas uh, kind of win, um, controlling this game and, and winning this game pretty handily. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I think Dallas runs away with this game. Tennessee just giving up. They looked awful last week. Uh, just nothing left. No quarterback. Uh, they're just pretty much done at this point. So we'll he move on. Texas. Man, that's, that's hard right. to say. <laughs> that's hard to say. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, they lost. They lost to, to the Texans. So, yeah, yes. pretty much put a four. Texans won the game, man. And, and, <laughs> That's and, crazy. And Titans, yeah. But the Never Texans, I mean, the Texans have been fighting hard all year, Um, have, you know, almost beat a couple of really good teams. And, um, you know. But Derek, 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 when, when, when you was young, if you was out there scrapping, you're going to come back and be tell your mom and dad, Mom, that almost – I mean, I got it to my 15th fight, and I almost, I almost won another one, but I didn't quite do it. <laughs> yeah. nah, we're going to keep all that quiet until we actually win a fight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but, man, but that, that says a lot for the, the, the coaching staff to keep them together mm -hmm. to, you know, still continue to to, uh, to scrap and win. So, you you got Lovey. Uh, yeah. You know, got him, got him scrapping. Yeah, I, yeah. That's one thing. He, he will keep his team focused. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely shows. All right. Well, we're going to get into the second game out of 10 that we agree on. We have the Arizona Cardinals uh, traveling to Atlanta to play the Falcons. Who do we have in this one, Diego? Yeah, we are the Falcons winning and not because the Falcons are amazing. It's just because you know, the um, the Cardinals, uh, they're without, they just got so many injuries. Uh, they're without Kyler and, and I, I don't know about their backup, their backup. Got a, got a concussion. I don't know if he'll play um, in this one. He missed last week. So this the quarterback's been injured. The the rest of their um, receiving core defense, they've been injured all year. So not the Falcons winning this one. Yeah, this is a team that's in a, it's in a free fall right now. Uh, they fired the GM, uh, what, a week or two ago. 
Uh, the quarterback is hurt. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be that long after the season till they fire the head coach um, and just start a total rebuild around Kyler Murray, which who knows, that, that could be the wrong decision also. But he's shown that he can be a good player in his league, uh, an outstanding player. Um, but he's not there. So if he's not there, I don't see Arizona having a chance to win this game. And Atlanta, they stay in the hunt for a playoff berth. Just right. think about that. They still are in the hunt. Yes, they still are. They still are. Yeah, so they have a lot to lot to play for, obviously. And being at home with a lot to play for, I think they'll come out with all they have and uh, put the, the Cardinals away. So uh, you can also probably stick a fork in Arizona. Uh, although I do hope they can get the ball to D-Hop. I need some, I need some fantasy points. So make, make sure you get the ball to D-Hop. Other than that, that's, that, that's all I need. All right. Well, let's move on to the third game out of 10 that we agree on. We have the Chicago Bears, Dez's team, travel up to Detroit to play the Lions. Diego, who do we have in this one, man? Yes, we all have the Lions winning this game, bouncing back from their loss last week. I don't blame the Lions. I still think that they're a pretty good team. But just when you go up against a running game like that, just – Against the against the team that has a, the the balance like that, the running game, the passing game is good, but not too good. So just like just, when you go against the team like the Panthers, it's just hard to win. So I don't blame them. They'll beat they'll beat, they'll beat them here. the team like the Panthers is yes. hard to win. Uh, yeah, that, that's the team that's hard to beat right there. Okay, I'm gonna let you have that one. Um, <laughs> but. It, I don't even want to look at the camera as I say this, man, because I gotta pick the pants. I mean, I gotta pick the Lions over my over my Chicago Bears. I came came look you guys in the face as I'm saying this, <laughs> yeah. and, and say that Detroit is a much much better team than the Chicago Bears, and and yeah, man, it's it it, it deeply hurts me to have to pick against the Bears, especially against the Detroit Lions. And here's why. People – now I'm going to look at the camera when I say this. People um, would would assume that my most hated team was the Green Bay Packers. Yes. But I have respect for the Green Bay Packers because they run a good, classy organization. They win football games. They win championships. I hated the Detroit Lions, especially the times when they had the, the, the one season when I was playing, when they went to the – Playoffs are oh, the most arrogant bunch of players, and they were perennial losers, and that's why I hate the Detroit Lions. And um, it hurts me right now to uh, pick the Detroit Lions over Chicago. But since um, I got to keep this chain, I'm picking Detroit. <laughs> yeah, I never would have thought that. I always would have thought it was the the, the Packers. Uh, you know, it was the most most hated. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's funny to funny to hear that. So that. That was the Matthew Stafford uh, team back in. The- yeah, Sue. Um, oh, and Sue was on the, the the defensive line. They had a they had a um, a safety uh, last name Delmas. I mean, just a just an arrogant. I thought they were an arrogant bunch. And then when they finally had a little bit of success, oh man, they they talked so much trash. I was like, mm-hmm. then the next year, of course, they they were back being sorry again. I yep. just. Couldn't stand playing Detroit. Couldn't stand playing in Detroit. Um, <laughs> funny story, uh, <laughs> real quick. This is the this is this is the worst Detroit story. We get there, go to the hotel, like, and then a group of guys we just go out and have dinner. So we we stayed in the GM hotel, um, mm-hmm. and I went down. We went down and talked to the concierge, and we asked the gentleman, "So what? What do we go um, to have like a nice dinner?" He was like, "Well, what are you in the mood for?" Like something white cloth, like a nice steakhouse. I will. I you can't make this up. The dude said there's a fud workers like three, four blocks down the road. That's what he <laughs> recommended to us. I was like, and this is why I hate Detroit. <laughs> fud workers. For those of y'all that don't know fud workers, that is a burger joint. <laughs> yes, <laughs> good burger yeah. joint. But not a white cloth steak <laughs> restaurant. He so. recommended Fud Ruckers. Oh, I was no. like, I hate Detroit even more now. <laughs> and this was like 07, oh, 06, 07. 
Oh, that's a that's a trip. That's a trip. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. No, they. You know, we wanted to wanted to make sure that. Uh, yeah, you um you saw, you know, you really got the real Detroit experience. They ain't want you <laughs> out there, you know, having no fruit fruit dinner. So yeah. <laughs> <Black workers. laughs> all right. All right. Well, we appreciate that that Detroit story. And I will will say also, I love the passion because you know, as fans, you know, as who we are, you know, oftentimes we we complain that the players, you know, maybe don't care as much as we do about the rivalries and stuff like that and whatnot. So it is cool to uh it's real cool to hear the passion this evening, years later removed that you, you know, still you know, um, pull for your team the way you do and then are, are still into the rivalries and whatnot and have the, the dislike that you do. So that's cool from a fan perspective uh, to see. So, uh, right. well, uh, let's get to the next game. We have the uh, fourth out of 10 that we agree on. We have the Denver Broncos traveling to Kansas City to play the Chiefs. Uh, who do we have in this one, Diego? Yeah, we all have the Chiefs winning, and you know, the Chiefs still have something to play for. They're in real competition for the for the one seed, and if they win and the Bengals beat the Bills, then they get then they are in the one seed for 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 now. But and then the Broncos are just a bad team, four and eleven, underachieving, and the, <laughs> the Chiefs will get this one easy at home. Yeah, um, they just fired their head coach out there in Denver. Um, so that's that's a sign of, of this team not going anywhere. And, and with two games to go, why fire the head coach with two games to go? I mean, there must be something real bad going on out there because at this point, you might as well just let them ride out the season. Yeah. But um, obviously something's not, something's not um, right out there and they need to get that change immediately. But for these last two games, I don't see this team playing with any type of um, morale. Not morale. Um, what's the word that I'm looking for? With any type of passion, any type of excitement. Why? And the coach just got fired. We're four and eleven, and man, we're looking. We're looking to try to get out of Denver and go somewhere warm and go sit on the beach somewhere. So can we get these two games over? Right. We're going to start it with the Kansas City Chiefs spanking that butt. Right. Well, you know, and with Denver, you know, the one thing that they had going for them all season was their defense. I mean, they, you know, offense was awful, but the defense would at least keep them in games and play strongly. But for the Rams, uh, you know, led by Diego's boy Baker, um, you know, to hang over 50 on them, you know, they didn't even do that with with Cooper. Nope. Yeah, um, no <laughs> And, when they won the Super Bowl, they didn't do that. Right. When they won the Super Bowl, they ain't put up 50 on nobody. Exactly. You know? So Baker to do that with none of the receivers and everything was like, I guess they said, okay. We done. Gotta do something. We done. <laughs> done. Yeah. So that was uh, something. But, yeah, definitely have the Chiefs. Uh, I think you can take this one to your bank for sure um, mm -hmm. <laughs> on this game. You get a great return. <laughs> right. Is Russell leaving to play? Like, I don't know. Like, why? Has, this has, has he been playing? <laughs> he, he played last week. Yeah, yeah. Was, yeah, yeah. He was on the field. He was on the right. field. That's right. He was on the field. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the field. I, I I still thought he was was you know in concussion protocol, but uh, yeah, well, well, no. well might no. still be concussed. I don't might, know. Might still be because that was that was bad. All right. Well, we're going to move on to the fifth game out of 10 that we agree on. We have the Indianapolis Colts traveling to play the Giants mm. in that life. Who do we have in this one, Diego? Oh, we do have the Giants winning this game. They are still playing for a playoff spot. And then on the Colts, I just can't pick them anymore against, no, against whoever they play because Jeff Saturday has just been uh, interesting. <laughs> so I got <laughs> Giants. Winning this, I like the way you said that in a nice way. Jeff Saturday has been interesting. Interesting. <laughs> so, so somebody told me, um, whenever, whenever you want to, somebody says something and you don't want to like put them down or say anything negative to them, you can just say amazing, because it could be amazingly bad or amazingly good, but they'll never know. You can just say, hmm, amazing. And that's how you just put that whole Jeff Saturday um, comment real <laughs> nice. 
Yeah, some <laughs> amazing decisions that they make. And um, I think both of you guys picked uh, Indianapolis last week, right? No, I did not pick any. No, no, no. That was okay. just me. That, that was, was just okay. me. You know, okay. I was playing with house like, uh, you know, I got um, I got some house money here, you know. Um, uh-huh. It, it, it was a heat check. It was a yeah, heat I would, check. Game. I would never do something. You know, Monday night, said, ah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to give the fellas one. You know, I'm still going to have the chain. I'm just going to give them one. So. No, I yeah. think you kind of thought they had a chance. We kind of <laughs> believed in Jeff Saturday. <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah. I don't believe in Jeff Saturday. But, <laughs> you know. Mm. Well, we none of us are believing in him this week. I thought just for a minute that one of you guys was going to pick Indianapolis coach over the Giants. I was like, oh, this is going to be a good one. I know I'm going to rack up a point here, but I see that you guys all came around and, and wise mm-hmm. up. And, and um, well, at least you, Derek, didn't pick <laughs> Jeff Saturday in the Colts this week. Yeah, yeah, nah. I came to my sister, so yeah, plus I can't I can't take any more heat check shots. <laughs> now I got to go with, you know, good good quality shots from here on out. So no more, no, no more messing around. All right, all right, so. That is uh, that one. So next we have our sixth game out of 10 that we agree on. We have the New Orleans Saints traveling to Philly to play the Eagles, uh, who have a lot on the line trying to clinch home field. Uh, Who do we have in this, Diego? Yeah, we have the Eagles winning this game. And, yes, because they have a lot to play for, they can clinch home field and their division. Uh, And and then um, Hurts might come back this week, but even if he doesn't, they still have the better team. They had the most pro bowlers out of everyone in the NFL this year. And then the Saints haven't been haven't been playing well this year, so Eagles all the way. Saints are dangerous now. Um, and I told you all that last week. They are dangerous. Uh, but <laughs> they, they are playing against the Eagles, who I feel like is the best overall team uh, from position to position in the NFL. And I don't think that the Saints have, will have enough. Um, and they're playing in Philadelphia, right? Yes. Yep. Yeah. And then playing in Philadelphia, it, it, they, they won't have enough to overcome what, what Philadelphia is going to bring to them. No, no. Yeah. Yeah, definitely have Philly. Uh, they've got to get this one. Uh, and um, we'll, see, we'll see if there's some Minshew magic. Uh, couldn't quite pull it off against Dallas. Um, you know, Des, the, he, his, he played his provisional ball. <laughs> uh, last week on that one, so you know, on the show, you know, you ended yeah, up being, that 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 that, that saved that saved the chain, that saved the chain. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so you got to call that provisional from the beginning. Good call there, and uh, we all have the Eagles in this one. All right, so we're gonna move to the seventh game out of ten that we agree on. We have the Cleveland Browns are traveling to uh, Washington D.C. to play Heineke and the Commanders. Uh, well, actually, maybe not because Heineke got pulled. Uh, at the end of that yeah. game. So be <laughs> is it going to be Wentz? Is it going to be Heineken? <laughs> no. You know what? I might have to pull a provisional on this one. <laughs> who, who do we have in this one? <laughs> yeah, man. What happened to your guy? No, no uh, legend? What happened to the legend? The 49ers. The legend 49ers defense. It is totally unfair to put that on Heineken. We knew that was going to be a loss. No matter who was yeah. the quarterback, that was going to be a loss. They put Heideke in. They win this week. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, we do have the commanders, and I guess you're provisional. I don't know, but yeah, they we do have them. Uh, even if Wentz plays, because the Browns haven't been playing that well this year uh, with Deshaun, they're still trying to find their uh, chemistry with Deshaun and trying to figure things out, and get a rhythm. So have the commanders. Yeah. Um... Commanders got a lot to play for. Like if they win this game, they're they're right there in that playoff chase. Uh, I think with either quarterback, they win this game. But I think they'll be crazy not to put Heineke um, back in that starting lineup this week. I mean, the guy's been, you know, what six and two, something like that, um, since he's been yeah. the starter. I mean, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with that. And he played against freaking San Francisco. <laughs> what other quarter, what other quarterback is gonna look good against San Francisco? Not many. So only Patrick Mahomes has scored 44 on him. Yeah. But everyone else. That's yeah. it. They have made, especially since I don't know, week five, six or so, San Francisco's D has just been nasty. And they were up. I thought they were gonna run away with the game against Kansas City. They jumped out 10-0 on them. And, and then know, Mahomes. Yeah. 
Yeah, Mahomes did. Always MVP. Told you. Yep. All right. So we have the commanders in that one. So next, the eighth game out of 10 that we agree on, we have the Jacksonville Jaguars. Man, the hot Jaguars. <laughs> Who oh, yeah. travel to Houston to play the Texans in this divisional round here? Uh, who do we have in this, Diego? It's division rivalry. Oh, yeah. But yeah, uh, we have, yeah, I have the Jaguars because both of these teams are, um, Ha, are are playing for are playing for something, but but in completely different ways. The Jaguars are playing to win a division title and host a home playoff game. While the Texans are play, and if they lose one more time, then they clinch. Then they clinch the then they clinch the number one overall pick. <laughs> so they have a lot to play for there. So I think the Jaguars going to win this. So it's a win win for both sides. <laughs> I knew what you was going with that too. Um, yeah, when have when when is the last time we we talked about Jacksonville this late in a season? And you know they they started off hot, right? They they were two and one, could have been three and zero, oh, and everybody was talking about the Jacksonville Jaguars and the defense and this and that, and then they just fell off. Mm-hmm. And now they're playing the best football that 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 um, other year. And this is when you want to be playing your best football. So not only do I see Jacksonville winning this game, but getting into the playoffs over Tennessee because Tennessee is going to lose this week. Um, And I believe that they, with the right matchup in the playoff, the way that they're playing now, they can actually win a game or two in the playoffs because they're playing the best football at the right time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't talked about them since the Keenan McCardell uh, you know, Brunel days, you know, back in the day. So Fred yeah. Taylor, all them boys. Yeah, um, and, and 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 if you if you're not older than 25, you probably don't remember all of that. No, 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 <laughs> well, they no, did go to the AFC championship game like I don't know, I mean like five, six years ago. <laughs> so yeah, yeah with, 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 with Coughlin, with Coughlin. They did they did make a little run with Coughlin, um, one of his last years there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they sure did. Sure did. All right. So uh, we have the Jaguars there. Uh, it looks like they'll be going into the playoffs. So next, the ninth game out of 10 that we agree on, we have the 49ers, the truly hot 49ers, are traveling to Vegas to play the Raiders. Uh, who do we have in this one, Diego? We have the 49ers. Uh, we are just talking about their defense, how dominant they've been. Uh, Bosa is probably going to get that Defensive Player of the Year award. Purdy's been playing well, and the Raiders have just kind of fallen off this year. So, Niners all the way. Yeah, um, the Niners, they are my favorite to win the Super Bowl right now, even with a rookie quarterback, because that rookie quarterback is pretty good. Yes, yes. Oh, that was corny, but I had to just throw it in there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's that. That's your guy. That's that. That's your Heineke. Uh, is uh, go go be Purdy. You know, I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't say that he got no Heineke legend or nothing like that. That team that's around him. I mean, as long as he don't screw it up, yeah, they, they they'll they'll still win it. Um, they just need him to to manage the game. You know, go out there and throw twenty five to thirty passes, 200, 225 yards, hand that ball off to Christian McCaffrey. And let the defense do the rest. That's it. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, 49ers uh, take this one and continue to uh, climb and see how high of a seed they can end up getting in the playoffs. All right. So uh, last game, the 10th game out of 10 that we agree on, we have the L.A. Rams uh, led by Baker, Diego's boy, uh, going into uh, L.A. to play the Chargers of the battle of the battle of SoFi here. Uh, who do we have in this one, Diego? Uh, well, Baker is not going to win this game, and uh, the Chargers will win this game because the Ch- Chargers, even though they clinch playoffs, they have something to play for too. If they, they they could move up possibly to the five seed and play and play Jacksonville in the first round, so that could be an easy win for them. So. But that they're still playing for something, and they're going to win this game against Baker and the depleted Rams. Yeah, this is just a weird matchup. Two L.A. teams, right? Mm-hmm. But not only are they two L.A. teams, they got, like, the same colors. Yes. <laughs> yes. Blue, 
blue and yellow or blue and gold. I know it's a couple of different shades, but it's it's just weird to have it the same weird. two teams in the same two, you know, the same city wearing the same colors. But um, oh, I'm, I almost broke out with it with a song from back in the days, colors, colors, <laughs> colors. And that's the LA West West Coast thing that's, too. Ice Ice T. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I digress. Um, the 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 team that's gonna win this is the team with the better quarterback, and that's the team that um, that's the LA Chargers. Uh, they are playing pretty doggone good football right now as of late. Um, they they've been a team that's they they haven't been able to go on a run. They they'll win a game, lose a game, win a game, win two, lose one, win one, lose one, and um, I think that they are a much better team than than the um, Rams, especially now, and and they'll they'll win this game and um, get into the playoffs and try to try to go for a playoff victory or two. I don't see them going far, but they'll get into the playoffs. Yeah, I think they're starting to get some pieces together. Um... And, uh, you know, I mean, quarterback had a really bad injury um, earlier in, in the season. I think a lot of people are forgetting that and, you know, played, was able to play, play through that. But, um, yeah, it, it's interesting. If, if I had another heat check pick left, I would, I would go with oh, the Rams. Go ahead. Go just, ahead. Hey, come on, man. It's still <laughs> fun. Just because Baker – you know, is uh, is, Baker. is on the road. Your money on Baker, and he he just you know he has so much to play for. I think the guys on the Rams are energized, and I could easily see it. It looked like you energized too, man. Go ahead and pick them. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah, I I, I <laughs> am. You know, Your heart if, tells I, you. If, if if I could get two wins for this one, I would pick them. <laughs> but we don't have any you know wonky rules like that. Just yet. maybe season two of who you got. We you know. Add some more spice and do that, but uh, yeah, yeah, I'm just not gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and play this one straight and uh, join you guys and just go with the Chargers here. Uh, but I I'll just put the disclaimer that you know, I wouldn't be surprised and all that. So then, if the Rams come back and win, I'll just play the clip on how I thought they might have won. So, <laughs> all right, all right, so those are the 10 that we agree on. Now, we're gonna get into the six. Oh, where we're on the island. This is going to be fun. Mm. And Dez, whoo, man, my, my, my man's on the island <coughs> four games this week. That's how so, I do. Ooh, man, this is going to be That's great. what sport. I do. Going to gain a lot of ground here. Um, So, first game we have, we have our North Carolina, uh, mm. well, I'm North Carolina, who will say, we're coming at you, these, uh, Diego and I from North Carolina. Uh, we have the Carolina Panthers traveling to Tampa mm -hmm. to play the Bucks and the Goat. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, Des, we'll go to you first, my man. This, uh, this is like hometown team versus hometown team. You know, I grew up in Lakeland, Florida, so I used to oh. ride over there and watch the Bucks every now and again with my grandfather. Okay. So um, that that was my team growing up, and and you know, you guys there in Carolina, yeah. that's your team growing up. So. Uh, this home squad against home squad. So we're going to see which, which home squad is going to run away with this game and then potentially run away with the playoff uh, bid from the NFC South. Yeah. But, you know, I got the GOAT on my side, and I don't see the GOAT letting us down. Uh, the Panthers, this – this whatever Diego said, this is a team that's really uh, tough to get a win against. It, it just so happened that um, – what nine teams has gotten a win against you guys? So it can't be that tough. <laughs> it can't be that tough. And um, I think it's going to be a tough, hard fought win this week. But yeah. the Bucks, they're going to walk out of here with this victory and the playoff berth. Ooh, all right, all right. What you got okay. to say, Diego? Okay, so the Panthers are going to win this game. Are you just talking about like Taylor Heineke's? You know who's my Taylor Heineke? Sam Darnold's my Taylor Heineke. He's been amazing. He's brought this team that they were done for. They were done. They could have easily just went for the draft and everything, and then he helped. He brought them back up, and now they actually have a shot at, at going to the playoffs. And if they win this game, they'll probably go. And then, you know, we'd be the fourth seed, and we'd probably play the Cowboys. And you know what? 
I'm, I'm having an early playoff prediction. We're going to beat the Cowboys in the playoffs at home in Charlotte and Carolina. The Cowboys are going to go home because of the unstoppable Panthers and our run game. We're winning I think, this. I think Diego needs some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and he said that. He said that. What, your quarterback has been amazing. Yes. So amazingly just like, good. Just, just like I said it earlier. Really good. Ooh, that has he has been playing amazing. <laughs> Lee bad. <laughs> he's been good enough. He's, he's been good enough. He's been good enough. Oh god. Yeah. That's, that's, awesome. that's just like that's just like okay, that's just like this. We're winning. Car. This, We're winning. Look, it's it's this car, it's, it's, it's this used car lot down in Lakeland, Florida. Mm-hmm. And so he just said he's good. At, he's been playing good enough. It reminds me of this used car lot down in Lakeland, Florida. It's called OK Cars. <laughs> I would never buy a car from a place called OK Cars. That's just like you saying he's been he's been good enough. Well, good enough. He's he's been good enough. I would never, ever bet my money on somebody who's been. Just good enough. Just like I never buy a car. Yeah, from OK. yeah well, when your two running back, you know, when your two running backs have 100 yards in the first half each. That's like if you have like two Ferraris. But that's okay. I'm with you. I'm also picking the Carolina Panthers. Um, they they are going to pull this out. They're gonna go in to Des's town and uh show them what that run game is gonna be tough to tough to stop. Uh, Brady, they're going to have the right defense to hold him in check. Uh, we're going to run the balls. The problem is a lot of teams against, against uh, Tampa, although they can be hard to run against, they get pass happy and they throw Tampa back into the game and they give Brady those extra two drives at the end to allow him to finally get his team back. The Panthers are not going to do that. Mm. They are going to stick to the game plan and they're going to pull this out. And our preseason right. prediction – of the Panthers going to the playoffs are going to be correct, although it would not have happened any way that we thought it was going to happen. Yes, but, Sam yeah. Darnold. A, a, a correct prediction is a correct prediction. So we're yep. going to go that. I'm pretty sure they started four quarterbacks this year. <laughs> yeah. And you don't have the running back who you thought was going to take you to the playoffs. Sure yes, sure and enough. traded McCaffrey. That's right. Yeah. That's right. But that that that's just a testament to how amazing – the Panthers are who 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 else could start four different quarterbacks and trade top running back and still get to the playoffs? Yes, and nobody and, else. And, and then and then end up with a a, a different coach <laughs> to boot whatever. And we fired our coach. <laughs> fired a coach, traded our best player, and started four quarterbacks. Right, that's right. Speaking of the coach, I, I really hope, especially if these guys can get into the playoffs, I, I hope we can bring. Uh, take that interim tag uh, off the off the coach. Uh, that that would be phenomenal. So I'd really be happy for him if uh, we could pull that off. So we'll see what happens there. But we'll definitely be watching this one. So that's the first game Des is on the island on. Very entertaining. The next game, oh, man, we've got the Miami Dolphins uh, traveling to New England to play the Patriots. Who do you have in this one, Des? See, I started to put my provisional in for this game. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick the Dolphins regardless of who's starting that quarterback. Ooh. I believe that the Dolphins, even, even if Tua Tunga Valor don't play, that high-powered offense that we that we, um, that we we seen from them, it's too much on the line this week for both of these teams. And I think that the Dolphins is a better team, and the better team is going to come out and win this game. And plus, I don't want to see the Patriots win after, after what I've seen their quarterback do to the defensive player when he was running. I was like, that was dirty yeah. as heck. He's yeah. like, I, I, you know what? I, I, I hate to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway because I'm thinking it, so I might as well say it. I hope somebody going to clean his clock and put him out of the game for that dirty mess that he pulled um, last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard your, uh, your former teammate, um, Shannon Sharp, was on today uh, definitely, you know, saying that uh, – Pay payback is coming. <laughs> you know? So yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't 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 do that. that, that was, I mean, I I've seen dirtier plays, but I've never seen a dirtier play from a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want to don't 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 want to see that. So uh okay, so you've got uh the dolphins in this one. Uh Diego, who who do you have? 
Uh, Patriots, just because, you know, they're known for taking away your best weapon. And without, without two of the Dolphins haven't really won any games. And mm-hmm. take and if you take away what well, well, – well, actually, no. And then never mind that because the Dolphins have lots of weapons, but just that they they haven't won without Tua, so just don't trust them without him. Yeah, I've man, and I've been high on the Dolphins. I've picked them a ton this year, uh, and a lot of that. And I got a lot of their fantasy, uh, a lot of their players on my fantasy squad as well. So I, I need I need Tyreek to have a big. Game. He will. Don't worry. He will. <laughs> but um. Man, I I just don't trust Miami, uh, especially without two heck. I don't even know if I trust him with two at this point, from what I've seen recently. Yeah, but, yeah um, I think he was concussed in like in the last. I think so. I, last I, I, because it, because they said that hit happened in, in the second quarter. Yeah. In the first half, they were on a roll. In the yeah. second half, they didn't score any points. For those three, yeah. he definitely you know may have been concussed with those, but but uh, yeah, it, it, it's tough. Um, I really like the Dolphins, but again, if I'm picking, going with the odds, I just go with the uh, Patriots here. So that'll be an interesting one to watch there. But that's the second one that Des is on the island for. Got two more. Oh, man, we have the Jets uh, traveling to Seattle to play the Seahawks. And I know, Des, you've you've gotten a lot of picks uh, right this year going with Seattle. Now, they've cooled off recently. But uh looks like you're back with the Seahawks this week. Yeah. Uh, who's going to be the Jets quarterback? That's going to be the biggest question, right? Um, we, we, we know it's going to be white. Yep. Okay. So yeah. that's going to make them more competitive. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I would have bet two to one if it was the oh, other quarterback. Heck yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. but, but the Seahawks, they, they've been up, and now they've kind of fallen back. But – I don't see the Jets as that team that's ready to take that next step. And and this is a game for a team that's ready to take that that next step and make that playoff push. Mm-hmm. And right now I just don't have the confidence in the Jets. It's just, you know, they started off hot, uh, kind of like the Giants, uh, and they had those setbacks. And I and I think um uh with the quarterback situation, you know, that that the most important position on the football field and all the sports uh, is, is really unsettled for them. And, and I believe that's one of the reasons why they do not win this game, even though um, White has been playing good football when he when he was healthy. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. What you got, Diego? All right. Well, let's get one thing. Here. One, one thing straight. Mike White is clearly better than Zach Wilson. Do we all agree? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, he he's clearly better. His stats, his stats, probably probably win percentage, everything is better than Zach Wilson. Mm-hmm. And then, so I have bigger trust in the Jets uh, with Mike White. He's played well when he's in this year. Their defense is top five in every statistical category. So I mean, going against Seattle, who's kind of cooled off as well, uh, I think they have. I think they're going to win this game here. Yeah, and, and also I think Lockett uh, may still be out. Yeah, so he's out. That, he's still out, so that hurts. That just puts more on Metcalf. They do have Sauce, so I think Sauce will be able to. Uh, they do have Sauce. Him. Yeah, be able to stick with him, and then you know it just kind of come down to the run game. But yeah, I think the the Jets um, with uh, White being in there will be able to uh, to scoop this one out. But it should be really close. Both teams have a lot on the line, so this is gonna be a gonna be a, a, an all out battle. And then being in Seattle with that crowd, you know, like you said, loudest place, you know, you've uh, you've been at. So um, yeah, that's gonna be interesting to to watch and a good one. So hey, you know, the Panther, the Panthers won in Seattle. <laughs> they did well. Well, that, that they did. So, they did. So it's probably not that hard to win. <laughs> If the little old Panthers could do it, then it's not that hard. I mean, the Panthers is one of the hardest teams oh, to get a win against anyway. So, <laughs> <laughs> says says somebody on this show. Says somebody. Good point. All right. All right. So, uh, the last game, the fourth game that Dez is on the island for this week, we have uh, the Pittsburgh Steelers are traveling to Baltimore. Man, another divisional showdown to play – the Ravens, and I believe there's a provisional here. Um, we are going ahead and putting Dez down for the Steelers. 
because we don't think this is just us, the pick pro. We do not think that Lamar Jackson is going to play. So that puts you on one side. But if he plays, think you're on another. But we'll let right. you break that down for us. Yep. If Lamar Jackson plays, I got the Ravens. If he doesn't play, I got the Steelers. You got the, you guys got the Ravens, yeah, no, no matter problem. what. Um, the Steelers. So here's, here's what um, I didn't really take into account last week when I didn't pick the Steelers. I didn't take into account the head coach and his track record. Mm -hmm. And he hasn't had a losing season since he's been there. Nope. And I believe they're right at the cusp now, seven and eight, yeah. where I think, I think it's going – when you hear Mike Tomlin talk, a man with a lot of pride. Man. man with a lot of pride. And I think he could sell this team on, we ain't going to have a free, freaking losing season. We just don't do that around here with the Pittsburgh Steelers. And I believe that's something that they'll be able to rally around, yeah. um, uh, just not to have a losing season. And I believe because of that, I believe they beat the Ravens, even though the Ravens are probably a better team, but the best team to always win on Sunday is the team that performed the best on that Sunday that's going to win, and that's what the Steelers is going to do. That's true. Well, I, I was very impressed with how they battled through that game last week. I mean, they clearly did not have anything on offense, and that defense just kept giving them the ball back, kept giving them the ball back every single time. It's like it really looked like they were playing, uh, and they, they did not want to lose that game for many reasons, including, obviously, Franco Harris. Uh, so I, I thought that was really great that they played that hard, you know, for the the, the Steeler Nation and for uh, for Harris and everything. That that just really showed a lot. Uh, so I was very impressed by that. But Diego, what what did you got to say on this one? But yeah, I just got the Ravens. Uh, last time these two teams played, um, it was in Pittsburgh, and 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 the Ravens were playing with their second and and third string quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. So and they and they're still able to pull it out. So now uh they have their second string quarterback at well, or Lamar, I don't know. Uh they're at home. So I feel like they have a that gives them a better chance of winning. So have them. Yeah. If they had because the Ravens, I believe they they, they clinched the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Playoffs. So I I think that reason alone is why they won't play Lamar this yeah. week. Um, I think maybe next week if they want to give him a rhythm game, but since they've clinched it, I don't think they. Yeah, I don't I think they can finish. Is me personally. Yeah, I don't think they can finish below um, sixth. I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure. Well, those are the four games. While I will uh, retain the chain and, and win it, and win it outright this time. Those four games. If if you, everybody else wanted to know, that's uh, that's why. Uh, all right, all right. Th those are the four. Going for the outright win does not want to share the chain, wants to get it outright. But uh, I think it will be outright, but uh, it may be on another side. Mm, okay, so you're saying it's going to be me. North Carolina. Okay, I, 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 not, I, 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 not, I see what you're trying to do. Okay. Not quite. Not quite. I like your strategy, man. They have a lot to celebrate yeah. next week. Uh, but we'll see. We won't get too far ahead here. All right, so the game that I am on the island for, and it's so funny being on the island on this one, I am on the island for the Minnesota Vikings, the team that I picked to win the division. Uh, preseason, before the season started, I said they were going to go to the playoffs. They were going to win this division, and I said that the Packers were not going to go to the playoffs. But I predicted all that, all these correct uh -huh. I the Packers still have a chance. Um, and they went out the ring. No, they don't. And uh, for the, those reasons, I have the Minnesota Vikings winning this game, going into Lambeau and beating the Packers, a team that does not have uh, their speedster receiver. He pulled a hammy. Uh, they don't have him, uh, Watson. And uh, yeah, man, we're going to, uh, Minnesota's going to go ahead and get this win. Um, and uh, I man, I, I was shocked when I saw the pick, I was shocked that somebody on this panel picked the uh Green Bay Packers. I'm not gonna say no names, you know, it starts with a D, but I ain't gonna say no names on that. Well, that's all of us, <laughs> <laughs> man. 
Look, 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 look. So, you know, I've been around with Minnesota all year. Yeah. 12 and three. They won some fluky games. But a 12 and three team that has outscored their opponents by five points. <laughs> that doesn't add up. And then now on the other side, Aaron Rodgers has been saying all year long, we're, we're still in it. We're still in it. And I hate that dude, man, because <laughs> he is the dude that will keep them in it. When when they started off 0 and 2 a few years ago, and he, you know, let's just relax. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and then they went on to win like 10 straight games or whatever it was. Yeah. He's that dude, right, that can do that. And I believe he's going to be that dude again for another rivalry team that I hate to say it, going to get them boys into the playoffs this year. And he's going to get them in there first by beating Minnesota and then winning that last game and then sneaking into the playoffs as a six or seven seed. And um, I just I just don't have the confidence in the Vikings to to um win win this game because they're already in they're locked in yeah and and, and and the Packers got too much to play for and they got number twelve and that's why I'm going with the Packers. All right. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I I got the Packers for a couple reasons. One, the Vikings aren't trustable. And I feel like all their games are like three points, game winning field goal, just just something weird. Uh, two, Ro Rogers is Rogers had that is keeping the Packers alive, so he he's gonna give them a chance. And, and if they win out, then that th then they're pretty much in. So he I think he's locked in on that. And when he's locked in, he's one of the most he's probably one of the most unstoppable QBs in the league. So mm -hmm. the Packers are gonna win this game. No doubt. Easily, easily. Okay. Yeah, I um I, I just I don't trust the Packers this year. Um, especially with um their kind of their new number one being being out. Um I I just think when the, it th th this is reminding me too much of a playoff game, and I'm looking at their history and like the real big like money on the table games and I, I I just see them laying an egg at home. I, I really do. But um, again, it's going to be a fun one to watch. But Dan, I got a question for you on Rodgers because he's been one of my favorite quarterbacks just from a talent perspective to watch. How amazing is his release in person? Oh, it's crazy. To see him fling it's the free ball. <laughs> so oh. the 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 way he throws the ball off balance, falling back, running forward, sideways running this way and throwing back. Um, and, and he has the probably the quickest release in in football. And it looks like he's just flicking it. And a lot of times he doesn't even have his feet planted. Mm. And, and to be able to do that and be so precise and yeah. be so accurate with those throws, man, it's, it's something that's, like, amazing. Like, it, it, not too many human beings <laughs> – on this earth can can do those things but um it's something it's something special yeah. to watch uh it probably be more special if you're playing with them than on the other side when you right. cussing them all the time like damn it he just made he just it was just third and 12 and he just fit that ball right in the spot for a 15 yard game like damn him wow wow <laughs> yeah we went to the first game diego ever went to it was panthers and packers um, here in Carolina, and we were at about mid-tier um, level, and we got to our seats. It was warm-ups, and we sat down. I'd never seen Rodgers in person. I only see him on television at that point, and I'm still pretty far away. I mean, I'm in the stands. We had some decent seats, but about mid halfway up, and I'm sitting down, and I see him throw the first ball, and I literally, it was like, just I just like yelled out some weird, crazy noise, when I saw him throw it, because I was like, what in the world did he just do? Like, it was so much different seeing it from way up in the stands, seeing him flick it then on television. Mm -hmm. And so then I could even only imagine on the field just what, you know, that must yeah. be. So, yeah, just absolutely incredible. Yeah. All right. He's a magician with the ball, man. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, so we've got one last game before we uh, get out of here. Oh, man, the Monday Night Showdown. This happens to be the game that Diego is on the island for. We have the Buffalo Bills, the team that Diego picked to win the Super Bowl, although he really wanted to pick the Rams. Uh, he picked the Rams to get to the Super Bowl, but that's I don't even know why I brought that up. But and why he you bring the Bills? Up, the Bills, my bad. I, I, I shouldn't have done that, my bad. The mm -hmm. Bills, you picked the Bills to win the Super Bowl. And uh, I picked the Bengals. We have the Bengals um, hosting the Bills. Who do you have winning this game, Diego? You're on the island. Yeah, well, this is no doubt. Like, I I'm picking the Buffalo Bills here. But I I'm so co I I'm so confident about this. Like, I, I, I actually feel disrespected. <laughs> like, I feel disrespected that you would do something, that you would g give me a game that's so easy. I mean, the Bills, they're the number one seed in the AFC. Everyone knows they're going to win the Super Bowl. Everyone knows it, but some people just don't want to say it. And then the Bengals, they've been on a little run. They, you know, they think they're so good because they won a couple games in a row. But that's going to end right here, right now. Josh Allen's going to show who, who the real guy is. So, <laughs> Bills. so man, yeah, uh, make sure you cut out these couple clips. Uh, first clip is Carolina is a hard team to get a victory against. And I feel disrespected that you guys are picking the Bengals to win a game. Like I the Bills. Just just make sure you cut those two things out because I, I want to rewind the tape at some point and be like, do you remember saying these things? Um, you know, I, listen, man, go check his room when he go to sleep because <laughs> – I don't know what he's taking in there. Uh, yeah, check up under the bed uh, because he's saying some off the wall things right now. He may be a little tired. Dude, like, this is going to be a close game. Um, they're playing for that number one or two C in the AFC. I think you could potentially be seeing the preview of the AFC championship game. You know, K, uh, KC, they, I'm, I'm not forgetting about them. Yes, you're not, but, do not forget about Mahomes. Yeah, I'm not going to forget about Mahomes, but this can potentially be an AFC championship game. And I think that the, the Bengals are playing better football at the moment than the Bills. And that's why the Bengals will get this victory come Monday night. Yeah, yeah mm. very, very wise. Wise analysis there. Um, mm, really? yeah, you know, I, I actually feel disrespected, um, <laughs> you know, because, I mean, the Bengals, like I, I've been been trying to tell you all, all you year. You gave but, up on them mid-year. I know. Like I said, so you try to go back to old stuff. I had a moment. I had a moment. You said, said that <laughs> they were done. Me and the Bengals are good. We have talked. We're fine. You, you talk know, like the owner or something? Yeah. Any you great friendship, know. relationship, you might have rocky moment. You have an argument, you make it up, we're good. So Bengals and I are good. Bengals are going to win the Super Bowl like I predicted. And you know it because, I mean, you've got – if yeah. I look at your fantasy roster, you got Bengals all up and down your roster. No, I don't. I only have two people. I don't see one Buffalo Bill on your roster. Yes, I do. I have one person. I have one oh, person. Oh, oh, that's right. You have the number two receiver. That's right. Because you, 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 oh, okay. you I have one right person on the Bills and two on people starters. on the Bengals. But you have two prominent starters of the uh, Bengals. So you you know what's up with the Bengals. So yeah. At yeah, yeah, at least I'm not like you where I have like five starters from the Miami Dolphins <laughs> on <laughs> my team. And, am, I, am, am I in position to win? The, um, no, you're not win. My fancy. I'm in position to have two. You finish, like two ten. I'm a double cup. I'm a double cup fantasy football. Who does that? Who is it? Two separately. This is just un this is unprecedented. See, that's, that's why not, you're not going to win anything. Not here to talk you about. Think that. you're going to win two, but you're actually going to win zero. <laughs> like even if you win one, it's going to be disappointing because no. the standards you set for yourself are so high. Hey, you know. Hey, like, oh, I would win both. And when you I, win one, you're sad. I win one, win second, and another, you know, it's okay. You know, that, that's all right. That, that's better than most. Better than most. Better than most. But anyway, this is going to be amazing to watch. We cannot wait to see. It's going to be a great week. We've got Thursday games. We've got amazing college football. That's going to be a beast to watch on Saturday. Sunday, full of games. Monday night football. Uh, we want to just wish everybody a happy new year. 
as that comes around. Be safe. Enjoy sports. Enjoy each other. Dez, hey, man. We enjoy doing yes, this with you. We got one more week. We're going to yes, see sir. who gets the chain next week. You're on the island for four, so we're going to be hitting you up on Sunday. <laughs> All right, so until then, chain gang. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Put that counterfeit chain down, man. Uh, <laughs> uh, pros, we're out. Till next time. Be safe. Happy birthday.